Hello everybody. Welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. We were leaving off with going into the study because I wanted to explore. Because, you know, I should do that. Why is it vibrating? It's going crazy. My nose is really sniffly still. I don't know. I think it's because it keeps going from like 30 degrees here to like 70 something, 80 something the next day. And I used to get like this this time of year. Can I open you? Me wants to see. Me wants to see. Me. But. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Should it be coming through here? Oh, there's notes. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan... Johan Weyer. That's probably Weyer, isn't it? Probably. The most remarkable thing that happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. <clears throat> I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for in the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described in the Hortus Conclusus. Conclusi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get banned for that one. It was as told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. It's color washed while rich contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstad, investigating one of the antiquated, antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it also became my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. That's pretty fucked up, dude. <laughs> Not gonna lie, you just got these people killed and you feel relieved? Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with the leaves of cinder. The ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way, gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. A guardian had taken the ore from me, but still until this day I feel I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has nearly been a decade since that day and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research in the mythic orbs, and I realized I owe you the truth about my visit to Altstad. Your friend and mentor, Henrik Cornelius Agrippa. Agrippa. That is a Greek last name, isn't it? Because uh, the the goddess.
oil. Hey, 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 C calm it down. Oh, oh God. I can go out on the landing. Isn't that cool? Chambers of the human skull. <laughs> Sorry, my friggin' nose is so itchy. Why were you killing pupper schnupps? Canis lupus familiaris. Is that a is that wolves? Nope, nope, it's just dog. 1658, April 12th. Animal experiment. Oh god. After a short study, it's clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I that the callus is produced within the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce this, the amount necessary. It might be able it might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Well that's pretty fucked up, guy. You were sitting here tormenting dogs and birds and shit. You know, they don't understand what the hell's happening. Oh, poor birdie. Poor doggy. Oh, not another birdie. I don't like this room. Let's see what you have to offer. Oh. <laughs> I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. I don't like that we had to listen to that. I don't like that at all. Matter of the fact. Haha, <laughs> Huey. Fuck. Symbols. So Alexander was just like a great big piece of shit is basically what he was. Torturing dogs and those are human skulls. So he also tortured humans. Like I mean it's kind of evident that he did, but it's like, well now we we know we have like full proof. An anatomy frontiers. Anatomy frontiers. 1658, January 9th. A further disappointment. The, antiqu the antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will survive since they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. What a piece of shit. Why did I- I can lean! Oh my god! That's so useful. Will I remember to do it? No. No, I sure as heck won't. Okay, so it's spreading outside now, too. Ooh, a cog. 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 When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. 
from where I came in kind of is not even a wasted not is not even wasted a breath yet I bow to you I have done so much for you and I have gained nothing in return Agrippa I trusted you it was I who in all fairness should have entered that gate so the dude who saw the orb was this a student talking about something probably up to <laughs> nice. Um, elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up eight and down eight. Make sure the flow is set accordingly to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions. Four phase amplitude. Complete steam flow cycle. So we have to have all the rods as well. And our boxies. Well, it was worth it to come over here. It seems like it's better for me just to explore than go directly to the machine room. Okay, calm down, space cadet. Do we go this way? We do go this way. He flipped through the book of monarchs looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe have been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. So this must be like the, the Agrippa person, right? Or something like that. So there's only one other place to go, right? Yeah, this place over here. Which is storage. So this one might actually be taken. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damn curiosity. I know these stories are about the characters, but I don't know who's who in each story, really. The darkness was strange and unnatural. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely agree with that one, buddy. No torches in here. We came from there. I should light this.
there anything of interest on this side? Just the doors. There is something walking around. So we're going to close the store. So I'm about to pick up a valve part. Drill part. I have to find all the parts. Regarding explosive mixture, Alexander, I prepared the explosives you need for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress how, how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. <coughs> Please try to tell your feather brain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. So the liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All I need to do is mix the liquids and you are ready to go. Agrippa. So we're just gonna light all these and make this like a safe room, like nice, warm, very good. Okay. Is there anything down here? Probably. Please let me go. I won't tell anyone. I swear. I just want to go home. I don't think they got to go home. Throw from a cave and send for further passage in storage. Run away and get through. The explosives in the next room. Okay, Google is not being very helpful. That's good. <laughs> that, 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 that's promising. Uh, look, I don't know. What about the drill? Okay, so it was kind of helpful. I was like, 
hand drill? I saw someone mention a hand drill. I was like, I have a hand drill. I have to throw something at it, don't I? Hmm. And a rock. That was bad. Yeah, I'm not very good at this throwing stuff, you know? I did it. Yeah, it looks like some bad stuff happened around here. Everything lit up. Oh God.
That was scary. kid. Buddy, I was ready to run. I was running. I was running away. Why is there so many chains here? Ow. Ow. Why did I do that? Full set of three rods is unbeable. There is one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work in the case of in the case the elevator breaks down again. This is absolutely necessary. Always use the spare rods in the storage room before using a mended one. Oh God. Making a beeline. Never mind. I am stuck. I am stuck. Oh god. Oh god. Just run me. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinets had been overturned and laid collapsing on the floor. He raced to the broken glass door and closed it as sad as he could find. Okay. Okay. That's where we're calling it. I need a new pair of pants. That was horrifying. My god. Jesus fucking Christ, I've never played this game before. <laughs> oh, I'm not good with horror games. I hope you guys are enjoying it though, because I am I am having a little spaz attack. And it is not me like overcompensating or something like that, like some like, I know a lot of people will, like, openly admit that they do that. I'm not. I'm just a chicken shit. Um, this is how I am with horror movies, too. Like, I love horror movies. I love a good scary movie. 
is also how I am when I'm watching other people play horror games. I will sit there and I will just fucking lose myself. Just like absolutely, I have thrown my computer before when I was a when I was uh, like 15 and I was reading like one of those comics that uh, one of those horror Japanese comics that people had around that time. That uh, the one that like clicked at you whenever the lady like came running at you. I fucking flipped my computer because it freaked me out so bad. I, I love horror. I love horror. I'm such a fan of horror. I have so many thoughts and ideas for horror. But. But. God, it scares me. It absolutely freaks me out. And I love that. I love that. But also me having to sit here and play an actual horror game is. <sighs> Alright. So I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to probably run to the bathroom and take a hot second to breathe before I go on to playing a little bit more for the night because my throat's starting to get a little, my, my voice is getting tired because I'm not used to reading so much out loud. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I, it's it's fun. I'm fine. I'm having fun with it, but God, I can only do this in short amounts, short, short spans of time. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time.